This is gonna be fun. Uh, I, I y'all know me. I'm Steve Boykin, and, and this is not slow news day. Um, uh, I, I don't, I don't even know what this is. Uh, I, I'm joined by Charlie Robinson, macroaggressions, and, and my new friend, radio broadcaster extraordinaire, uh, legendary commentator, and, and did Santa Cruz County resident with me, Jimmy Jean. How you doing, man? I'm doing fantastic, and it's uh, super great to be here, man. I'm excited, and uh, uh god who, damn it, I gotta kill some shit. Yeah, I'm who, fired. I am. This is me. I can't even find the thing. There's the thing. Now it's dead. Sorry about that. Oh, that's no problem, man. Yeah, so as you can see, <laughs> you can see, as you can see, all the videos have been have, uh, disappeared off our channel. And uh, and that's because uh, from now on, that's the way that it's going to be. Um, we're not just going to just leave the shows up there anymore. Johnny Cash, Ring of Fire. Don't blame me if the subtitles come late. Love is a burning thing. I gotta turn it lower. And it makes a fiery ring. Gotta concentrate. Bound by a wild desire. I fell to a ring of fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, down, down. And the flames went higher. And it burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire. I did listen to this a few times, but I'm still learning it. It's all about memorizing it, I guess. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, 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 the ring of fire. The ring of fire. The taste of love is sweet. Oh, sorry. When hearts like ours meet, meet. I can't hear him. I fell for you like a child. Oh, oh, but the fire went wild. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire. And it burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire, the ring of fire, the ring of fire. I'm going to try to stay awake to catch some Jimmy Jean to see if it's available. He says he's putting on the shows 24 hours. You can see him. It's at 1030 Pacific time. He's trying to make it seem he's from Santa Cruz. Poinkin and said that. He's my buddy from Santa Cruz, but it's not. That's Donkey Tail from Texas, from the Dallas area. He says, watch me at 1030 Pacific time to maintain that illusion. He scrubbed all those videos. They had next to no views. Poinkin and says he's some legendary radio broadcaster, but no one's heard of him. No one watches him. He's nowhere to be found except for that Aftermath FM nonsense with Clyde Lewis and Ryan Knight. Not Ryan Knight. David Knight from InfoWars. What, is Ryan Knight an actor or something? Sorry about that. Yet I want to point out, I think I've cut back tremendously on using um, saying um. I think I've cut back on a lot of mistakes. I respect anyone who can speak very smartly, astutely, like professors. I respect them. Not all of them, but the good guy professors, I respect that. The discipline it takes to read and speak and converse. Noam Chomsky was the last of the grades. Maybe still around, but he was looking quite old the last year. I can't see him having too much more left in the tank. Nothing personal to Noam. Must be about 92, 93. I'm too lazy to check. Maybe I will check, but who knows? 
I mailed this stuff in. But it's still greatness. So I've outed Donkey Tail as this Jimmy Jean guy. He's from Texas, not Santa Cruz. He was born in Southern California, Donkey Tail. He was born in 1953. I think it's called Redwood City. Is that it? If I saw it again, like I saw the mugshot of Peter Richard Mormon. And even though I lost it, I can't find it, maybe it'll show up again. Even though all that, I think that's him. I'm going by the reaction. So he scrubs all these videos directly after my videos on himself. He says this is complex, but then as I put into my last video here for documentation, they're claiming websites are making transcripts of his shows when they're talking, and he has some type of cohorts. They're like the Rob Yeager fake researcher types. So he said all that stuff got scrubbed because he's sick of these channels having free reign over his shtick, and then they're stealing it. But he didn't mention myself. He didn't mention that someone claims he is Peter Richard Mormon. Now, I'm not really into you saying that name so much. I'm not afraid to, but I searched and searched, and there's not much on that. I don't think there's anything at all. I think he put up a fake, maybe not a fake, but I think he has a fake business in real life. You might find that, but I didn't see any info on that. I mean, if there are real-life journalists and researchers out there, this is a scoop to be had. It's similar to the Camberlin thing. I come up with this pretty darn good story on Brett Camberlin. That's my claim to fame. That's how I became semi-famous for a small pond experience via internet. But I didn't have the money, I didn't have the resources to do what Breitbart did when they stole my scoop, when Mandy Nagy stole it. I guess they found they were getting donations, the Rock the Vote thing. Is that what it was called, Rock the Vote? That was also Kimberlin. Some of that other stuff, they just found they were getting donations. Sorry, my tongue slipped there. They are getting donations from Soros-type places, I think Tides. And there was also the Wienergate part. It got very crazy. And then Snowden emerged. The Boston Marathon happened. And then 2016, I think, was the critical end point for internet life. After that, nothing would ever again be believable. I'm talking about the Podesta files out of WikiLeaks. I'm not talking about Pizzagate. Pizzagate came after. The real key disclosure showed all the media was rigging it for Hillary Clinton. That was never fixed. There were never congressional meetings. They're saying that the DNC is its own private company. They can have a million super delegates if they want to. So that never got addressed. So then you have this new thing, which I predicted, all these fake fights coming up. And the new one on the block is Tim Black versus Combo Coach. Vanguard is getting involved. They're anti-Tim Black on this. Black went after Jimmy Dore, Joy Brianna. I don't really know her. He said something that I might try to say, but it's that Uncle Thomas type of thing to say. So I think Tim Black said that to about Joy, uh, Joy Brianna Reed. Is that her? I'm getting confused. But I think I know her. I think I've seen her once or twice. They've got a Sabs Sabatini. Wasn't that a tennis player? But she was fake. I've got her in a video from the past. They're all linked. They're all co-workers. That's why they're all on drugs, because wouldn't you be taking all those drugs? They have to know that everyone else is scripted, because they're t oftentimes they're having on one of their co-workers, and they're actually reading off a script, so they know. They are so arrogant, they never thought someone like myself would just, aha, I see what's going on, I can follow their eyes. And then I have persistence through Asperger's to keep talking about it. So there's a new fight out there. It's Tim Black versus Jimmy Dore. It's kind of a rerun. It's all a rerun. It's all cyclical. Going by numbers, I see a cap off of 100,000 and above for the Jimmy Dores, maybe 150,000. I know Tim Pool gets like 300,000 or a million. Rogan gets uh, big views. I don't know if he's still getting the big views. There's a limited amount of big views to be had. The big numbers seem to be for Karen videos, 
or cop videos, or you name the goofy, stupid videos that get the big numbers, the ones where you sign out and you have to see what the big numbers are. So this political, this Bernie bot stuff, this is actually a quite small malu. I mean, it adds up after a while, but they're trying to spread everyone out. They want such and such with Hardlands Media, such and such with Oz and Shanda, such and such goes to Combo Couch, such and such watches Kalinsky, or such and such watches Jamal Thomas with Shane Stranahan. I can go on and on. So the numbers do add up, but most of the numbers are not united. If someone doesn't like Combo Couch, they're not watching Combo Couch. They're not thumbing it down. That's why all these channels have limited thumbs down. They're rigged. Well, I mean, they're socially engineering us or attempting that. They don't do it obviously to me. I'm sure the people who have watched a few of my videos at least, they're not doing it either. They're not watching them other than to hate and to observe. I'm trying not to hate these people. I have deep respect for anyone who forgives the murderer of one of their family members or something like that. 